Hello adventurers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sawyer. I'm Danny. Together we are McPeak Peak Adventures. Adventures. Today we are in downtown Tulsa visiting the Woody Guthrie Center. Let's go adventuring. The Woody Guthrie Center is located at the southeast corner of Reconciliation Way and Boston Avenue in the Tulsa Arts District. It is across the street from the Guthrie Green Urban Community Park. This museum hosts a lot of interactive exhibits as well as lots of musical artifacts. This wall of screens is an interactive map, and I've already pulled a couple up, but you tap on a traveling icon, and it pulls up, like this says, Columbia River, Portland, Oregon. Woody headed out to Portland, Oregon to put his songwriting talent to use for a documentary film. So it's just a bunch of different things to learn about him. So, look if I tap this flag. It'll pull up. Oh, Will Rogers. We didn't just learn about Woody's life as a musician. We also found out that he was a really talented artist. So Sawyer is doing the VR experience that basically allows you to go back in time to Black Sunday in 1935 when the very first um, Dust Bowl came through Oklahoma. And it, I just did it too, but this is, this is definitely worth coming here to just see this. This is so cool. I mean, it's sad, but. I didn't know that when it happened, it just turned to like pitch black outside. Why do you think it was called Black Sunday? That's crazy, I just never thought about it. Like you just see the dust rolling in and then all of a sudden you're just in complete darkness. Like you can't see off the edge of the porch. That was really awesome. That was my very first VR experience too. Yeah, mine so too. That was super cool. I'm interested in seeing what other VR things we can get ourselves into, but very cool. Yeah, that was awesome. So this happens to be a topic that I recently did a lot of search on and read some books about, but so this was like the main part of where the Dust Bowl was the hardest, and this was during the times of Great Depression, so like people were already down there with luck. And then we have this giant storm that's basically a dirt storm. So it's like pouring down, think of pouring down rain, but it's dirt. And there's really no way to escape the kind of dirt that was coming into people's homes. It was killing all their cattle, it was killing all their plants. Like, so it was just really hard for people to live. But this was like the biggest area affected. But from what I've read, this dust would end up all across the whole United States. So people were seeing effects of it even out of this area. It's pretty crazy because there would be dust mounds on people's, uh, like on the side of their houses that were like five feet tall from like one dust storm. So it's just, this whole topic is very interesting to me. Now, once again, I'm Sam, same guy, Sam Flowers, your guest service manager here at the Woody Guthrie Center. Folks, we have so much on Woody here at the center, man. It's like this guy was such a prolific writer. Uh, did this guy write this in, in 1952? Did he write this in 1945? Uh, did he write this in, in 1955? Or did he write this in 2024? Man, we have so much of Woody in our archives that we're able to change out Woody archives to the sign of the times. Yeah, like Woody's sometimes speaking on uh, things and it's like, same as it ever was. Same things happening today. If you go to the Woody Guthrie Center and have a chance to meet or talk with Sam or listen to him just talk to the group, he is truly magnificent at storytelling and knows so much about Woody Guthrie. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Woody is hearing that, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And Woody was like, okay. 
Sam had a huge impact on our visit to the Woody Guthrie Center. He talks about Woody Guthrie like they're best friends. It's like he knows so much about what goes into every one of these songs. He can tell you the complete background and just so much about Woody Guthrie. It was really impressive. I guess we've made it this far in the video without actually telling you who Woody Guthrie was. Woody Guthrie was one of the most significant figures in American folk music. He wrote hundreds of country, folk, dust bowl ballads, and children's songs. He also inspired generations of musicians that have come after him. Some of your favorites were probably inspired by Woody. We ended our visit to the center by stopping in the theater to watch a 15 minute video about the life of Woody Guthrie. All right, adventurers, this concludes our trip to the Woody Guthrie Center here in downtown Tulsa at the Arts District. This was an experience that I learned so much and I want to continue to learn more. And I cannot say that for every single adventure we do, unfortunately, but this, holy cow, y'all, add this to your list. If you come to Tulsa or planning to come to Tulsa, add the Woody Guthrie Center to your list. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of our content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms. We'll see you on our next adventure.